Um, just like number one in the volume one series, we're going to be looking at how to find the average of a data set. It reads, there are seven Algebra 1 classes in El Campo High School. Each class has the following number of students, 35, 32, 40, 43, 34, 36, and 39. Question, what is the average number of students for the seven Algebra classes? All right, so let's get started by writing down what the formula um, that will guide our problem solving process is, and then we'll apply it to this problem, okay? So the formula for calculating the average of a data set is as follows. The average is the sum of the elements, elements in the data set, divided by the number of elements. Remember, we have all the most known formulas for the CBEST um, test at our website at matgotserve.com, so you can check it out and, and uh, master them so you can do only a test, all right? Okay, so in this problem that we're dealing with right now, what are the elements that we're looking at? So the elements that we're looking at um, are the number of students in the Algebra 1 class. So we have 35, 32, 40, 43, 34, 36, and 39. All right, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All right, so these are the elements that we have. So we just need to find the sum of the elements and um, the number of elements. So we can easily find out the number of elements. The number of elements in the data set is basically how many numbers we have here, okay? So if we count them all, we'll find out that we have, we have a total of seven, seven numbers. And it's also indicated in the problem that there are seven Algebra 1 classes. So sometimes you can refer to the problem to determine um, the number of elements in your data set. All right, so uh, what are the sum of elements? So the sum of elements, we just basically uh, add up all these numbers together. All right, so since calculators are not allowed for the CBEST exam, um, we're going to have to carry out this summation manually, all right? So let's just pair them up. Uh, 35 plus 32, we can sum those two up. That gives us 67. And then 40 plus 43, um, that gives us 83. And then we have 34 plus 36, and then we just, let's just tack on 39, add all these three together. Ten, uh, four plus six is 10, 19, nine carry one, three threes is nine, 10, one, oh, nine. All right, so now we're just gonna add these three sums together. So we have uh, 109 plus 67 plus 83. So um, three plus seven is 10, plus nine is 19, nine, carry one and then we have seven plus eight seven plus eight is fifteen five carry one two two hundred and fifty nine okay so the sum of elements is two hundred and fifty nine so we have everything we need to calculate the average we have the sum of elements and the number of um elements so the average um let me just set up my work here. What we did is we said 35 plus 32 plus 40 plus 43 plus 34 plus 36 plus 39. So this basically represents the sum of elements and we're dividing that by the number of elements, which is seven. Okay, so the numerator component of this quotient has already been computed here. That's what we did on the side, which was 259. And uh, we'll divide that by seven, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and do the division. We're gonna do use long division here. Since we can't use a calculator, um, so we have 259, the top those underneath the division symbol, we have the seven on the outside. Um, seven goes into 25 three times, three times seven. That's 21. And then if you subtract that, you have four. Bring down the nine. 
um, and then seven goes into 49 seven times, seven times seven is 49. And then when you subtract, you get a zero. So subtract that, so you have zero. All right, so 259 divided by seven is 37. All right, so the average number um, of students in the seven algebra one classes is 37. The answer to question number one is option letter C. All right, so we have a question for you. In this problem that we just did, when we're computing the sum, what we did is we, we paired up the numbers um, into two pairs and then we had a triple here. So the question is, is there a faster way to find the sum of these seven numbers? Let us know um, in the comment section below what approach you think is the fastest way to find the sum of these seven numbers right here. Presentation, really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your preparation for the CVS test, do give us a thumbs up or like. Your positive feedback is very valuable to us. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel. We're gonna be updating it with tons of math tutorials, so subscribe so you can stay in the loop. If you want to gain access to the entire review series and all the great math resources, just visit our website at mathgutserve.com. If you have any questions or comments, just put it in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to support you. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.